Sun Shining Carnet. That's how Jared Padalecki and Supernaturals fans started referring to him on Twitter. Hashtag we love you Jared Padalecki trends as thousands of fans worldwide are pouring love and appreciation for the actor, saying how he's impacted their lives, complimenting Jared left and right. The latter famously portrayed the little brother on the hit series. What prompted such admiration? How did his past influence his future? And how is Padalecki doing now? Uh, but for now, I can, I can hold it together. Or this time next year, when we're like, God. why aren't we working? Yeah. <laughs> what happened to us? Well, I, I'm going to be uh, mowing lawns for, uh, to pay my mortgage. So. Well, before we unveil the story, let us recall what happened a year and a half ago and why our favorite hunter was all over the news. The one picture we never imagined we would see was Jared Padalecki's mugshot. Nor did we ever expect to hear about his arrest on two counts of assault with injury and one count of public intoxication. Or about his $15,000 bail. Yeah, 2019 will forever be remembered as a very special year in the television history. First of all, the legendary Supernatural series is officially ending after a 14 year run and 15 seasons. And it's also the year when Jared Padalecki, a talented actor, a beloved mental health advocate, got into a bar fight while intoxicated and was arrested for assault. Don't forget to subscribe to Rumor Juice's YouTube channel, and let's learn what the hell happened in the early hours of Sunday, October 27th. What Padalecki and his wife had to say about the ugly incident, if anything at all. And finally, will Padalecki's outburst affect Supernatural's filming schedule? Let us start by saying that, thankfully, there were no serious injuries. Around 2 a.m. on pre-Halloween weekend, police officers were called to an Austin bar called Stereotype to restrain the actor. According to the police, Padalecki was intoxicated and had hit two bar employees after a verbal confrontation. A now viral video shows Padalecki holding someone in a headlock, presumably a friend who was trying to calm the actor down. Padalecki eventually lets go and raises his hands in the air. Another video clip shows Padalecki leaning across a car and holding a lump of cash with the police nearby. An onlooker is heard wondering if the actor is trying to pay his way out of trouble. Additional reports suggest that Padalecki came into physical contact with an officer. Soon, however, Padalecki was released from custody and had to face his fans. For now, he chooses not to comment on the incident itself, but preferred to sincerely thank everyone for their support and apologize for missing a scheduled appearance. I want to sincerely thank my family and friends for all of your love and support, Padalecki tweeted, adding, So sad to miss the Supernatural family at Supernatural Convention in Washington, D.C., but I hope to see y'all soon. Padalecki's main supporter, his wife, Genevieve Cortez, is also keeping mum on the matter. Instead, she opts to post a simple heart-shaped emoji and a self-love quote. Owning our story and loving ourselves through that process is the bravest thing that we'll ever do. Genevieve wrote on Instagram. She and the couple's kids still got to have some Halloween fun. Padalecki found himself in trouble right on the eve of a significant career transition. His next project, Post Supernatural, a reboot of Walker, Texas Ranger, is currently in development. We are yet to learn if the actor's arrest will affect his involvement as the show's leading man. But at least we do know that Supernatural will continue filming as scheduled, with no interruptions. What is more, Padalecki has already returned to work. The actor has always been open about his mental health struggles. He's been at the forefront of campaigns that helped people struggling with depression, and revealed he has been diagnosed with clinical depression at the age of 25. At the time, they were filming season 3 of Supernatural, and Padalecki had a breakdown on the set. In 2015, he had a relapse, cancelled his appearances at conventions, and admitted he was homesick and suffering from exhaustion. Nearly 7,000 fans then organized a flash mob at the San Diego Comic Con that same year, with each holding up a candle in honor of Padalecki's Always Keep Fighting campaign. What's happening right now? Yeah. What? <laughs> They're on fire. I don't know, but I, <clears throat> I think we're supposed to... Yeah! I'm not sure, Jensen, but I think you're supposed to sing Freebird. Always keep fighting. No uh, way. That's awesome, guys. Naturally, the arrest comes as a shock. 
But to sweeten the pill, we once again got to witness how supportive Padalecki's co-star and close friend Jensen Ackles is towards his little TV brother. Appearing solo at the Supernatural official convention, Ackles joked good-naturedly about handcuffs and orange prison robes. While the entire crew supports Padalecki, they are not going to let his misdemeanor slide for a while. When he showed up on set Wednesday, I brought him in handcuffs, Ackles said, so we're having fun with it. The crew really wanted to wear orange jumpsuits, but we couldn't get them in time. On a more serious note, Ackles made his feelings about the arrest known. We all miss my big, dumb friend, he said. Look, he had a bad weekend. He's dealing with what he's got to deal with, so just send him some support and love. Oh. <laughs> you didn't. Oh, I did. <laughs> oh. As we can see, he didn't just get some love and support. A year and a half later, the actor has started trending on Twitter for all the right reasons, including his warm and helpful nature. Evidently, his arrest didn't affect his involvement as the CW's Walker's leading man, as it premiered on the network in January. And Padalecki's fans were more than willing to follow him from Supernatural to his new series. We're nine episodes in and have our hearts broken by the tragic twists and turns every week. Time went by and the actor decided to open up and talk about what exactly led to his arrest when he joined Smallville star Michael Rosenbaum on his podcast Inside of You. Shockingly, Jared said he doesn't know what happened apart from what he read in the police reports. Long story short, they filmed Supernatural till 6am. No food, no sleep. At 8pm he landed in Austin and had a double date with his wife and two friends. Later on, they went to a newly opened bar. There were a few bachelorette parties. Fans bought him a few drinks. Having read the reports and having seen the videos, Jared presumes he thought he was getting attacked and needed to protect himself. And it wasn't too far-fetched. You know, Jensen and I got jumped season one, he said. Padalecki also added that it was bizarre watching the security footage. Watching him do things he can't remember, quote, you literally seeing yourself on the screen, I am. It's almost like the Twilight Zone. He also said that he had more to drink and never blacked out. Sadly, he broke his own rule to never take a drink that someone pours for you. Well, that's a valid rule. We should definitely stick to it. Perhaps he was drugged, maybe he wasn't, and it was just a shameful moment in the actor's life. Whatever happened that night, Jared learned his lesson, saying that it's definitely transformed his life since then. He stopped drinking, talked to a psychologist about it, I'm certainly not proud of that, he added. Michael summarized the experience, saying that they're not here to talk about how perfect life is, that everybody makes mistakes. We accept and acknowledge that and do better next time. We couldn't agree more. On the podcast, they also talked about self-fulfilling prophecies with anxiety and depression. If I say to myself that I'm suffering from depression, anxiety, then I'm the victim and I can't do anything about it, he said. The actor elaborated that pain is mandatory, but suffering is optional, and it's his choice to accept it and try and deal with it instead of allowing it to make him suffer. Whatever is bothering you in life, whatever fear or anxiety you have, whatever problem you're dealing with, it's in the passenger seat and you are driving, paraphrasing both actors. Life can suck for all of us, and it can be amazing if we choose to focus on that. Simple, yet powerful. It's no wonder the hashtag we love you Jared Padalecki has begun trending with fans everywhere. The actor chose to open up, shared his story no matter how unsettling it might have been. He decided to do better, helping himself and others. Whether it's his many inspirational quotes on social media or his eager willingness to help, it seems that Jared's nature and behavior have caused nothing but the most beautiful things being said about him. While one user called Padalecki the warmest, most sincere human being he had ever witnessed, another one wrote that Sam Winchester would have felt honored to be played by someone like Jared. Thank you does not even begin to cover the amount of gratitude that I have towards all you have done. One fan using the hashtag writes, tagging Padalecki's account. You have shown us to always keep fighting, that mental illness affects everyone, and that we get to define ourselves. It's a good day to say that Padalecki spent literally two years writing his chapter in Family Don't End With Blood, making himself vulnerable to share his own struggles, to validate and inspire others who struggle. 
That's how much he cares, tweeted another fan. The latter referred to the book written by Supernatural's actors and fans that examines the far reach of the show's impact, as it has inspired fans to change their lives, from getting sober to pursuing lifelong dreams. In the show and its community, the actors had also found inspiration, courage, and the strength to keep going when life seemed too hard. In connection with the hashtag we love you Jared Padalecki hashtag trending, another fan said, I'm crying because not only this is trending, but it's true. Jared, you mean so much to a lot of us here, and I don't think without your humor and kind personality, I would be here today. Today's your day. It would only be fitting to conclude with the words that helped the hashtag We Love You Jared Padalecki campaign seriously gain traction. The actor wrote, it's hashtag Mantra Monday. Checking in with y'all to see how the water intake, daily stretches, and sleep are coming along. Remember, it's okay to misstep here and there. You just have to get back in the saddle. Reach us in the comments below if you have a story about how Padalecki inspires you, or if you simply want to express your adoration for one of your favorite actors.